Hello all, in this IoT series video, we will get started with Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. Node-RED is a flow based programming tool for IoT built on Node.js. It provides a browser based editor and it is a programming tool for uh, wiring together hardware devices. We are using Raspberry Pi 4 in this demo, but uh, this demo applies to Raspberry Pi 3B and B plus as well. We will switch on and off an LED using nodes of uh, Node-RED. Uh, from Raspberry Pi. Uh, we will be using uh, Raspbian OS uh, Bust on uh, Class 10 SD card as Raspbian OS has got inbuilt Node-RED. Connect the long lead of LED to GPIO 17 and uh, short lead to ground through a resistor. We will be accessing Raspberry Pi from uh, Windows using Wi-Fi method. A link is given in the description below. You can check up uh, my previous video. We are using XRDP on Raspberry Pi and over Wi-Fi we will control Raspberry Pi over Windows. Login Raspberry Pi from Windows machine and open Node-RED. Node-RED is uh, installed on a Raspbian OS Bust by default. Now the service of Node-RED is started and it offers an IP address uh, with a port uh, to open from uh, Ras Raspberry Pi or from Windows. It offers another uh, IP also starting with 127 that is local host but we will be using that IP address of Raspberry Pi with uh, port number 1880 to open from Windows machine from Windows browser you type in the IP address of Raspberry Pi followed by 1880 the port address of Node-RED now you will be offered the uh, Node-RED IDE it has got nodes on the left side that is a, a palette where you find nodes for input output function and uh, Raspberry Pi nodes and center portion is the canvas where you drag and drop the nodes and draw the flow but you start, to start with, you have to install the new version of Node-RED. So first close the uh, Node-RED service using uh, uh, node-red-stop or you can close the window of the uh, window just uh, that looks like a terminal. You just uh, stop that window, Node-RED will be stopped. And from uh, uh, node-red.org uh, node a website we'll follow the uh, script on how to update the with the latest node red first you have to install build essentials using app get install build essentials and then uh, copy this uh, script from uh, node-red.org the link is given in the description below the script will uh, automatically remove the uh, previously installed Node-RED and install new updated Node-RED with uh, NPM that is Node-RED uh, program manager and it also installs global nodes to uh, local and then extra PI nodes uh, this uh, update will take up to 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet speed once it is done, your uh, Node-RED will be updated and you get a new uh, new version of uh, node -red. The actions uh, taken by the script are uh, listed one by one. Uh, and finally, you get the uh, updated Node-RED. You have to restart the Node-RED. For this, uh, close this uh, window and then uh, uh, from file, you open Node-RED again. This is the... Uh, now you get... Uh, uh, the IP address and uh, uh, port address uh, that is 1880 you copy that uh, IP address and port and paste it onto Windows browser Raspberry Pi IP address colon followed by 1880 that is the default port of Node-RED now you get the uh, new Node-RED with uh, uh, common on uh, top uh, uh, on top of palette where you get uh, the debug and uh, inject nodes and followed by uh, function nodes and uh, input and out output nodes all new nodes are uh, installed we are interested in uh, raspberry pi nodes 
at the bottom you see the raspberry pi nodes you have the input and the output raspberry pi node the first icon first node is uh, uh, first node under raspberry pi is input node where you see the raspberry pi icon on the left side this is for uh, inputs like button uh, we are connecting an led which is an output so use the second node that uh, node has got the raspberry pi icon on the routes, uh, right side you drag and drop the uh, output uh, node onto the canvas you see two uh, icons one is the red icon and second one is the circle icon a red red triangle is uh, for property setting and a blue circle for deploying uh, double click and uh, to set the properties select uh, gpu 17 as we have connected the led at gpu 17 select it and under type uh, it is a default digital output and initialize the state uh, it should be initially zero uh, so initialize it to uh, initialize the pin to state zero low and provide a name we have provided a name as red led now you can see the red triangle has gone as we have set the properties the blue will go off only when we deploy it to server now we want uh, node to inject uh, one or zero so that uh, the led is switched on and off so from under common you select the inject node uh, drag and drop it on canvas and double click the inject node to set the properties you can move the nodes on the canvas uh, just by dragging it uh, double click the inject node and under uh, uh, payload there is a drop down list you select it as string and then uh, uh, input one you place one under string uh, the topic is used for uh, mqtt that is for a later uh, video and provide a name as on now the node for uh, sending one is ready we just drag and uh, drag a line and connect the node with the red led node now drag and drop another inject node and uh, set the string as zero this is to send zero to switch off led and provide the name as off click on done uh, connect it with the red led node now both the nodes uh, are ready that is the inject nodes for one and zero now you have to deploy click on the red uh, deploy button on the right corner now the uh, nodes are deployed onto the server and you can see the blue circle has gone now click on uh, the on node you can see one is sent to red led node uh, led is on and click on off node zero is sent and uh, you the red led is off you can uh, see the debug uh, uh, messages by using the debug node drag and drop a debug node and connect the on and off nodes with this debug node under the right uh, corner you see the debug messages uh, icon you click on that to see the debug messages now you click deploy to deploy the uh, uh, debug uh, node we have inserted uh, newly now when you uh, press the on button the led is on and you see the message that uh, one is injected and if you press the off button you can see zero is injected next we will see how to uh, control the led using a physical button we will be using a two lead button micro switch uh, put that uh, two lead micro switch onto breadboard one end of uh, uh, micro switch goes to gpio 27 we are using the gpio pin 27 of uh, raspberry pi the other end is connected to 3.3 volt through a resistor always take care while uh, uh, take all precautions to use uh, to handle uh, gpio pins of raspberry pi as any uh, fault voltages will uh, damage the raspberry pi you use a resistor and then connect it to 3.3 volt pin the other end of the uh, push switch now from the node red uh, id you just uh, delete the previously uh, created on and off uh, nodes 
and then from uh, raspberry pi uh, node drag and drop the input node as the button is an input drag and drop the input node and double click on it to set the properties we have selected gpu 27 so uh, select that gpu 27 on this properties window and then under register select pull down Uh, so if you select pull down the gpu 27 will be pulled down to ground and uh, when you press the button a high will uh, pass on to the uh, through the button uh, and through the resistor if you select uh, uh, pull up it will be uh, initially high and if you select none the led will be uh, blinking continuously now the properties are set you connect the nodes with the previously created red led node and the uh, debug node and then click on deploy now the newly created node is deployed onto server and you uh, uh, on the right hand side you click the on the debug window you delete the previously generated messages now if you press the button if you keep on pressing the button the led will glow as long as you press the button and when you release the led will be off now under uh, debug window you can see the messages when you press the button the led is on and message is one and uh, when you release it the led is off and message will be zero you can uh, now some important tips on the uh, node red on the right hand side uh, you can click on manage pallets and then install uh, uh, new nodes for uh, uh, new hardware and also uh, dashboard by default dashboard is not there on the node red you select the manage palette and then and then click install and select the dashboard search for dashboard dashboard and select it and click to install now you can see a new list of uh, nodes installed you have to restart the node red to see the new list of uh, nodes under dashboard under dashboard you can see the new list of uh, uh, nodes button slider gauge and other uh, useful uh, dashboard nodes once you use the nodes of the dashboard you can access it on uh, Uh, using the URL uh, IP address followed by uh, node uh, node red one eight eight zero port number and uh, forward slash UI. So now we are not used any node uh, dashboard uh, nodes. So now it is empty. This is how you install new nodes on uh, node red. Now next tip is to Uh, how to access the settings file now open the terminal and uh, type in ls hyphen a to see the hidden files uh, we have to open the dot node hyphen red uh, uh, folder use the cd command to go to the folder and list it using ls there you see the settings dot js file you can edit the settings.js file using a nano editor sudo nano settings.js it will open up the settings.js file where you can uh, scroll down and do the settings very important setting is the uh, user password and uh, uh, user admin user name credentials it is very important as uh, uh, if you leave the node uh, red by default it is uh, risky as hackers can uh, access your uh, machine so you have to uh, set the username and password using this settings.js thank you for watching